well, should we talk about the real beef? I mean, this was, this was a major story a couple of weeks ago. I started seeing all these links getting passed around. Yeah. And frankly, like, I couldn't even understand it. It's like, DJ Ambi walks out of his show, and it's like, okay, I have to watch this now and understand, get in the back. What's the back story? Yeah. And he's like, it's too much work yeah. on my part. Mm -hmm. But uh, do, you want, do you want to briefly sum it up? And then we'll show a clip from, oh, should we show the clip first? Show the clip first. Okay. Show, the show the clip first. So this is, this is, but this is a clip on your show, the day of that show, it's very good. <laughs> Oh, the energy was great. Super energy. Meta. DJ Envy got Envy, his light Envy, skin, Envy. gum sold feelings on the Breakfast Club. Wow, the Bisquick Bandit strikes again. That's right. The most illustrious podcast in the world, the number one show at late night, was ambushed where you walked. It's a power 105.1. Unbelievable. We entered the octagon. No warning. To promo our tour. And we're what do we get? Nothing feelings, but feelings. Nothing but light skin feelings. <laughs> Emotions. Feelings. Let's roll this beautiful yes. butter footage. Look at this. Pancake batter emotion. This <laughs> shit. Hey, Morning, everybody. Oh. It's DJ NV, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. We got two guests in the building. Why you ain't yeah. say special guests, man? We got dickhead and pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Hold on. Hold on. That was Bruh, the, I was about to right stream on the Bronx. I was <laughs> like, what the f like, oh, at least give me, at least give me a diseases, uh, diseases and diseases. zero or something. Zero. Oh, come, come on, on dickhead and pussy. pussy. Like, there's no P in You didn't even try. Did you? Like, Yo, come on, my nigga. I mean, in that 10 minutes we saw you outside the studio before we did the interview and you didn't talk to us, maybe you could have came up with a better name there. You know what I'm saying? When you was in the panic room, maybe you could have gotten yeah, a note that. Free saying, smoke, free right? smoke. Let's just continue our interview. Why you ain't yeah. say special guest, man? We got dickhead and pussy. Let's go. <laughs> wow. That laugh was like, those, those three I'm classes that I was about you. to snuff this nigga. Roll it back. This is a Bronx reaction. Cause any, there's only two times when people go, wow. That's when a nigga's lying and a nigga's like, oh, I'm out to hit somebody. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. That was wild. That was so, that was interesting. That was very interesting because my man had zero energy like that when we were sitting outside the studio eating pizza. Yeah, we were just sitting there for 10 minutes eating pizza yeah, and he was just standing out. there, so. Yeah, so Let's just reflect on the fact that we just watched you, watch you. Watch us. Watching you. Yes. <laughs> wow, this is, it's getting meta. Is the top gonna stop spinning at the end? <laughs> this is the episode of Players. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Inception shit right here. No, shout out to him. We got to send him an edible arrangement because yeah. I think because of that, our tour sold out and we were on TMZ. Yeah, and like, dude, dude, nothing but not, great uh, things have been happening to us. So. Could, yo, DJ Envy is like the fucking... What was oh, the end game there? Yeah. Do like you he, think he was going to have us on there and then it'd just be like, he's going to play us and we just look stupid? Yeah, no. This is literally what happened in World War II. Like, they were just dropping mad bombs. Yeah. And to this day, in certain parts of England, you walk around and just like unexploded bombs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anywhere we go, an Envy bomb could blow up. Blow, blow. This is what you started, my light skin friend. DJ Envy is the appendix of the Breakfast Club. Woo! Like, Did you just call him a vestal organ? Yeah. Did you say he was unnecessary? He's like, like tonsils. Or nipples on a man? Yeah. Damn. Like, you don't need that. You could just have anybody in there be like, yo, you what's up? You he, said he, he is the wisdom teeth of the Breakfast he Club. He is, absolutely. <sighs> you could pull him out. They're and there, he, you don't like, know why. Yeah, they're there. And they cause problems. And they just fuck up your teeth and make you look like an idiot. That was paid for by NYU Dental Clinic. It's down the street. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>